Hi, Tom Patterson with Flying. Joining us today from Bend, Oregon is CEO Doug King of Epic Aircraft. Thanks for your time today, Doug. Congratulations on Epic's E-1000 winning the 2020 Innovation Award last year from, from Flying. Um, and now you've got the GX. Um, how have the uh, E-1000 and the E-1000GX been performing for Epic so far? Well, fantastic. Thanks for having me, Tom. I really appreciate this opportunity. Flying, uh, we've had a great relationship with Flying for the last 10 years under my stewardship here at Epic. And, um, you know, the, the deliveries have been uh, going great. Last month, we delivered three airplanes. So uh, it was our best month ever. So uh, you, as you can imagine, ramping up at a, at a new aircraft, uh, certified aircraft deliveries is challenging. And, uh, but we've been meeting that challenge in the midst of COVID and supply chain and all of the things that have been hitting the whole industry, quite frankly. Um, so it's, it's been going very well. And the E1000GX with the Garmin GFC 700 autopilot and all its advanced safety features really has made a difference for our customers. So I've seen some video of this aircraft and it, it's just beautiful. Uh, and, and then I read the statistics on it, 1200 horsepower engine, cruise speed of 333 KTAS, climb rate of 4,000 feet per minute, a range of more than 1500 nautical miles, I mean, that just has to be really fun to fly. What's it like? Oh, it's amazing. I, I just went up to uh, Coeur d'Alene. It's about 280 nautical miles away. Pretty short flight. But the thing climbs so great. I went ahead and went all the way up to flight level 330 on the way up and 340 on the way back, sipping fuel at less than 50 gallons an hour and going over 300 knots. It's just one of the most efficient machines. Uh, it's a joy to fly so smooth and quiet it's really fantastic so you touched on something i wanted to ask you about i see on your twitter feed that you do a lot of flying in your epic so tell me about one of your more enjoyable cross-country trips and how the epic aircraft has made it even more enjoyable well i wanted to find out how the e1000 gx would uh, fit into flying in europe i've had a lot of uh, requests in europe and so I wanted to find out for myself. And this summer after Oshkosh, I jumped in one of the airplanes and flew around the world. So I, I had a great trip, uh, bringing some interesting pilots along with me at various stages and went all through Europe. And uh, uh, it, it added an interesting, uh, uh, COVID changes your flight planning. Now you're not just planning on uh, uh, your normal flying and your border crossing, but now you're worrying about what the new COVID rules are in which place you're landing and uh, whether or not you need to take another test. Um, but, uh, but really, it was a chance to, to show off the airplane and go all the way across Russia and back through Alaska and down back to Bend, Oregon. So it was a complete lap and uh, really had a great time, 48 flights, 10 countries, um, just had a had a super time. Wow, that is unusual. You just don't meet that many people who have flown that much. Um, how long have you been flying, and um, what was your path to the aviation industry? Oh, I ended up here like a lot of uh, folks, uh, uh, sitting on my dad's lap in a one seventy two when I was a kid, and uh, and never looked back. You know, and uh, washing airplanes in high school. I ran a paint shop and high school painting airplanes. And, uh, and I've made flying part of my uh, business, uh, whether I was working in software and computers or uh, doing something in the aviation business, uh, flying airplanes, GA has always been a part of it. And uh, I still own a Cessna 182 that the, uh, I let the employees here fly. So we have a little flying club that uh, our engineers and uh, technicians uh, love to fly. So, um, you know, we, we really, it's, it, Epic is, is all about the passion of aviation and the people in it are, are super passionate. So it's, it's, it's a fun place. What is the latest in the factory and um, with customer relations in the wake of your success, uh, especially as you've made the transition from experimental to certified aircraft? You know, that was such a big shift. There's uh, 
Uh, there's not a common part between the two airplanes. <laughs> you know, they look the same when they fly by, but that's that's about it. Um, certifying an airplane, you, you really have to go through everything, and, and we changed it all. Um, uh, but, but it's been fantastic. We still, you know, there's 50 of those kit planes out there flying, and they're like classic Ferraris. The people who own them hang on to them, and when they sell them, they put a high price on them because they're, they're, uh, they're classic airplanes. Um, I still have one. I've got a, uh, one of the kit planes, and, uh, and I love it. And people have said, well, why don't you sell it? And I said, I don't know. You know, I built it myself with my kid and my dad, and, and it was, uh, you know, it just becomes part of you when you do that. What was the um, most challenging design um, challenge that, that you faced when you were designing uh, or when you were involved in the designing process for the E-1000. Um, what sets that aircraft apart design-wise from other aircraft? You know, I think it's really the carbon fiber. You know, the, the extensive use of carbon fiber and out of autoclave composites that, uh, that really makes the difference. Um, there are other carbon fiber airplanes, but, uh, you know, we're a bonded fuselage. We're, we don't have a lot of fasteners. It's pressurized, and uh, uh, it's still that part of the business is still relatively new, and the the challenges come in with uh, working with the FAA, and uh, uh, you don't always have people as experienced at the FAA working with you, so sometimes you have to take a lot more time explaining things to them on how you're how you're achieving you know, the strength or the uh, durability that's required. Is the autoclave for the aircraft uh, at your facility? Or do you yeah, have so we, it's all out of autoclave. So it's the, the, entire, uh, the entire airplane is out of autoclave. And some of our, our innovations are how we are able to successfully and uh, in a relatively low cost manner, manufacture, uh, you know, very thick structures out of autoclave. and. Uh, uh, and get the strength and the reliability requirements that the FAA demands. So, uh, but it's all right here. We build 587 composite parts that make yeah. up the airplane, and they're all made right here in this building. Um, it comes in as a roll of fabric in one end and rolls out as an airplane out the other. That is so impressive. Um, I, another question I wanted to ask you was uh, a supply chain question, because with all the supply chain issues that are gripping so many industries right now, um, how is your business being affected, if at all? We're all being dramatically affected by supply chain, but what I can say is aviation suppliers, it's a very tight-knit family. You have companies like Pratt & Whitney, Hartzell, Garmin, and they've been around a long time. There's not that many of us. Everybody knows each other, and uh, everyone is trying to beat this and, and stay ahead of it. It's, it's just amazing how, um, you know, like a family, the industry is trying to, to deal with these issues. So, um, uh, you know, I can't say enough about our suppliers. They've, uh, they've, they've done a fantastic job for us. Even when there's been an issue, they're always, you know, getting ahead of it and saying, look, we got this issue. This is when we can get there and, uh, and we find a way to, to make it work. So what's ahead? What's in the future for Epic? It seems like uh, the future looks bright and um, the possibilities are endless considering where you've come from and where you are now. Well, obviously, we'll keep making improvements and, you know, adding features and, you know, growing the, the E1000 GX into, you know, more, uh, uh, more destinations, more features, more benefits, more uh, performance, all of that. Um, so we intend to be at this for a long, long time. Well, again, congratulations on the E-1000 and the E-1000GX. Thanks a lot, Doug King at Epic Aircraft for taking time to be with us today. And thank you for watching. I'm Tom Patterson with Flying. My pleasure. Thanks. Thanks, Tom.